PCTK Radio proudly presents the week review. Hey, you know what, guys? What? This right here, this here rambling, go. boring conversation go, containing already yeah. made before observations, this could be a podcast. Could it? Yeah. It's actually not a bad idea. Not really? a bad idea. A podcast. Don't you have to be some sort of whiz kid to do those? No. Uh, yeah, definitely definitely not. not. Anyone with a computer can make one. Well, that's it. We're, We're anyone. anyone. Let's do a podcast from right here in the booth. Who's in? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Is it happening? Are we doing it now? Awesome. awesome. You're the reason that we do what we do. Music and talk, it's all for you. Now the guys who are lots of fun for making you laugh, they're number one. They review the week just for you. So get ready for Paul and Drew. Welcome to KCTK Radio's <laughs> Week Review sorry, with Paul and Drew, starring Chris Harvey and Jack all up in your face. Join in on the experiment by calling or texting us at 913-735-0060. We dare you. And welcome to the Week Review Podcast, the special podcast. We didn't do a regular show. Looks, I don't know if we can ever do a Paul cast again where we can broadcast live because my internet's not working. <laughs> but... We're here. We're glad you're here. You can give us a call. Somehow you know that we're doing this. <laughs> What's the number? Uh, the, the number is 913-735-0060. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I'm Paul. That's Drew. And uh, we're going to talk about the Justice League movie that we just saw. We have uh, with us, as always, I don't even know where to start. Oh, can you see that now, Jackie? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, don't worry. I'm happy. I'm pleased. Thanks. Okay, yeah, you look. So. Why does he need to see it? Hey, don't go. touch it. I can't <laughs> touch it. Don't touch it. I'm not. Quit it. You quit All it. All right. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, and it's time, everyone. Welcome, Drew. What's up, everybody? It's the Drewsh, a.k.a. Mrs. Fritchie, a.k.a. Bazooka Joe. What's yeah. going on, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> We're, are we all, it's all late. We're all punchy, I guess, and... And of course, always is with us is Jack, and uh, we have a special face. guest. Do you want to say anything? I said all up in your face. I had to finish it. Sorry. <laughs> okay. What's NASA mean? You have another NASA. <laughs> what does NASA mean? I feel like he's going to be a spokesperson for NASA. Like he's going to be walking around National giving out pamphlets. Aeronautics Everybody's... Space Administration. Uh, oh, hold on. Let's let's repeat that. National Aeronautics Space Administration. Uh-huh. Aeronautics. Yeah, that's what I said. S- aeronautics. Yes. <laughs> All right, aeronomics. Okay, you're getting closer. Aeronomics. <laughs> what is it? A- Aerodynamics. No, it's not. <laughs> you guys you are douchebags. All right, and, and luckily uh, we have uh, Mac with us. Hi, Mac. Hey, it's great to be in the studio with you guys today. You know, we all got to keep it clean. The boss is here. You're not on camera because a we lost a camera. <laughs> I don't know why. Probably the same reason we can't on the internet. B, um, I don't know. Why does Jack yeah. put his hand up like Jack, that? <laughs> Jack, you have a question for some reason? <laughs> I have a statement. National Aeronautics. Or aeronautics, sorry. Oh, it's not aeronomics? <laughs> sorry, I apologize. In Space Administration. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not so I'm not one wearing NASA, so I don't have to actually know what NASA means. Fuck. I'm sorry. Fuck. <laughs> okay. So uh, the real reason that we got together tonight is that we saw the Justice League movie. We did, and we're gonna review it. And folks, we are gonna give away spoilers like like crazy. Yeah. Let's go ahead. And get, yeah! Let's go ahead and get that out of the way now. If you do not want to know any spoilers, yeah, don't listen, listen to, to the show anyway. Don't listen to the podcast. <laughs> Because we're giving away a bunch of spoilers. I'm giving away the secrets of the kingdom. Yeah. So, Mac, we're going to start with you. What's your review of the movie? The well, Justice League. We just saw it. You, you Now, you pulled some strings to get us into an early thing. Well, Like well, real yeah. media did. Like real media. <laughs> Come in, Mac. <laughs> Hello. Hi, this is Phil Lavota, the oh, hey. council oh, official attorney for the podcast. Oh, okay. Thanks for inviting me down it's here. Good when our attorneys no here. Shit. Uh, yeah, Ooh. we got a couple things to talk about, but I was uh, honored to go to the Justice League movie with you guys tonight too. So I'd like to kind of put my two cents in worth. Yeah. If Mac will let me. You can go ahead. You're a lawyer. <laughs> okay. 
So anyway, Did thanks Kermit for having me. Did Kermit get to go? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get to go and everything like that. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of bullshit. Yeah, Wait, it's okay. I say my, my name too? I should probably should have said my whole name. It's How all about right. just the official attorney? Yeah, for the but you, but um, you're an Emmy Award winning. Uh, you're you're in the media. Yeah, uh, international entertainment lawyer. And and you got us some of the because you wanted this audience to know what we thought about it immediately. The. Uh, the actual opening date for the Justice League movie is tomorrow, and yeah. the world will be able to see it, but I pulled some strings uh-huh. to get this staff and this podcast crew to see the Justice League early. We went and saw that tonight. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, Was there any aeronomics involved with it at all? <laughs> God, you guys are it's, actually, it's ergonomics. It's how you sit in a chair. <laughs> Called the Nurser, Nash, not the Nash, NASA. The National Ergonomics. Exactly. Lazy Boy Ergonomics. Yeah. Shooting the space shuttle. Nice. He's lazy boy. So what'd you think? Okay. So I'll tell you this. Uh, I, you know, since I was six years old, I've dreamed of seeing Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, yeah. Aquaman, The Flash in a live action movie. Me too. And never would I think that ever happened. So it's, oh, I'm well, geeked it up did, about it. Well, it did happen. There was a young filmmaker <laughs> in the in the seventies and early eighties that put Superboy and Batboy together. If you remember that, I, I it was part of the production team there. I produced an amazing Superboy and Batboy. We were before our time, yeah. I mean, and now here we are, thirty years later. But uh, I thought this movie was going to be dark. I thought it was going to be uh, very uh, uh, some undertones to it that weren't positive. But I was wrong, and it, I was very surprised of the upliftingness. Uh, there was some comedy in it. And each one of these characters, if you're a DC geek, uh, you know what each character is, and they each character played well. Uh-huh. What, Drew, where, where'd we, where do you think it hit right? <clears throat> okay, well, I think it hit right with uh, Batman. I think it hit right with most of the Justice League. Cyborg was fine. Um, the only thing I didn't think it hit well. So what was your favorite part of it? My favorite part was Batman. Uh-huh. Honestly, Why? Batman was just awesome. Is it I mean, because the, you're wearing a Batman shirt right now. It's not even that because I'm obsessed with Batman as much as I am Flash. So here's the deal. Okay. I think it was awesome that the fact that he acted like a hero, but at the same time he's standoffish, and they kind of captured that a little bit in the Justice League in the comic books. He he's very standoffish, mm-hmm. but at the same time he's a leader that that everybody can look up to, not just Superman. When Superman's not around, it's usually everybody looks at Batman, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. And I feel like they kind of captured that okay. a little bit. Could okay. you give a synopsis to people that don't know the story of yeah. what happens yeah, just Justice quick, League? <clears throat> which part? How the show, the movie. how the movie starts. The, movie the plot itself. of the movie. Okay, the one, the, about an hour ago, we were in the theater. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah. So uh, I really liked how it began with... Uh, oh, it did start. You're right. Oh, that's right. It did start. Um, I liked how they first brought in Batman, who's the first one on the scene to figure out what the fuck is going on. And I felt oh, they kind of vulgarity, the vulgarity. I'm sorry about that, Mac. Yeah. So I felt like they kind of took that away from uh, Justice Wait, League War, and everything like that. the uh, animated movie, and I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, I felt like that was a little live action of a scene from that because in the beginning of Justice League War, okay, uh, Batman See, is fighting anyway, a anyway. Jack you're talking nerd, oh, but the the plot of it is that the some aliens are coming <laughs> to oh, God, <laughs> kill the world. You said as it began. And, yeah, you said beginning. Kill the world, and Batman decides he needs to find a team of heroes. So yeah. he goes and recruits. I didn't know you want the people. synopsis of the whole movie. Yeah, no, just a little bit. Okay, not, fine. Not, Three, three mother boxes are trying to. They're trying oh, to bring the three mother, three mother boxes you're a mother, together. You're a mother, is right? A, mother, a bunch <laughs> and, of people and, listening to this won't know what the mother boxes. And are. a lot of times, right. a lot of times, go see the movie. A lot of times, it's <laughs> happening because Superman is gone. Yeah, that's kind of the that's start. kind of the thing. Superman is dead. Superman was the light of hope, and crime has happened. And now these aliens have decided they can come invade the Earth. And Batman says, "No way, to Jose. Wonder Woman." We've got to find some people. Right. And he goes and looks for some people. I mean, who, who, he, who are the heroes he looks for? He finds yeah. Flash, he finds Cyborg, and he finds Aquaman. Mm-hmm. And a little bit about Flash. What is Who's Flash? Well, well let me ask Jack kind of overall, what do you think of? What do you think were the hits? Can you see the screen? <laughs> <laughs> I can see the screen. Don't worry, Paul. <laughs> oh, good. You can see the screen. <laughs> Can you see the screen, so Jack? Like, well, so what was Jack, like my overall? Look at the screen. Oh, and tell me. Well, so you're asking like what my overall favorite parts of the movie yeah, were. Yeah, your overall favorite part. Um, man, I don't know. It's I been thought, a while. I thought, you, you just I thought left Jay, the theater I thought, fifteen minutes I thought, ago. I thought Jason Momoa was a pretty good Aquaman. Agreed. Very succinct, Jack. Good job. So, <laughs> so the the characters, the characters are Batman. Wonder Woman, which, which we saw in uh, Batman versus 
Superman. Mm -hmm. They find Aquaman, which is uh, Aquaman is. We all know Aquaman. Uh, no, a, some people don't. He's a protector of the seven seas, also king of Atlantis. And he's half half he's Atlant ha Atlantean he's and half human. human. Uh, then there's the Flash, who's Barry Allen, who got hit by lightning and uh, with chemicals has, has his great uh, super fast um, power of the Speed Force, right? And then uh, there's Cyborg, who is um, was a young man who was in an explosion, and his father saved him by making him a uh, robot using some of this Kryptonian high-tech stuff. Mm -hmm. And so they're together. And I liked I liked the way... I, I don't know. I liked the movie overall myself. Be, I liked the way they interacted. I liked it that it wasn't very long. I liked there was one villain. There wasn't some other thing. You know what I... I you know, the big battle at the end... The previews, I thought that was going to be like Gotham City or yeah, like, I was I wasn't expecting Metropolis, that, but it was some other like thing. Russia, was, yeah. yeah, which which to me made more sense. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. it, it was so I liked it better than. Do you remember the Avengers, the first one where everybody in New York is getting killed? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, I like this that was contained a little bit. I also liked it that Superman for once. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, spoiler! Okay. All right, all right. Well, we yeah, were, yeah. We, Tell the spoilers. Go ahead, do that. Okay. I did like how uh, f diverging from Man of Steel, where Superman's rect reluctantly killing millions of people by fighting one of the Kryptonians right. the whole time and not saving anybody, and the first thought is, bam, I yeah. will fight Steppenwolf, but I need to save these people first. Yeah, and, and, and that's a Superman move. And probably just to go ahead, I mean, we're... Doing, I'm going to do spoilers. We're doing the, big, we're doing the yeah. big spoilers. Superman comes back in this movie. They figure out a way to bring him back, and... We knew he was going to come back. Yeah. Did you notice all the all the promos and everything and never talked about Superman and everything? But come on, we knew he was coming back. Well, I was kind of hoping they were going to do the Fortress of Solitude. That We didn't know there was a Fortress of Solitude, and they took his body back, and then that's brought him back. That's how they did in the mm -hmm. comic books. And I thought I really thought that was going to happen. I thought that was going to be cool, but... They it, kind of did. They didn't. used Kryptonian Sort of, yeah. They used technology Kryptonian technology to bring him but, back. Yeah. Which is exactly how he does in the comics, so I get And it. he came back and he was Superman. Yeah. And that was awesome. I thought he'd come back in the black suit from the comic books, but he came back and he was Superman, so he's back, part of the team. Did you notice that his, his suit was like a lot more colorful, more colorful yeah, than the other? Exactly. The, the, they did that the symbol bit. itself, the yellow, was very yeah. prominent. It was, it was more, uh, more colorful than Batman versus yeah. Superman and then the Man of Steel. Mm -hmm. I agree. Um, Wonder Woman was awesome. Yeah, uh, she's totally a warrior. Awesome. Always she's always fighting, awesome. always yeah. fighting, mm -hmm. figuring out to be. Aquaman was trying to learn in his way. I kind of like the story, even you know, in the comic books, they have their own thing, and then they get together, and then they go back. I like that their origins came together. The reason they all came together, and they weren't yeah. too long in the origin stories either. Yes. You, they kind of cut. You yeah. go, okay, I get it, and you may move on. It wasn't. There were actually weren't weren't even really origin stories. Yeah, they didn't really it, get it was into just kind of like, yeah. hey, this person does this. That's it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, they get kind of into it with when Aquaman and Flash are having a conversation. Oh, no, uh, him and Cyborg when they're digging up Clark Kent's body. Right. Remember, he's like, so you were struck by lightning. He's like, there's one way of putting that. Yeah. So they like, kind of get like into the, it a little uh, bit. But... Like for Aquaman, the only real backstory that they say for him is that say they say his mother left him at his father's step. And that's went back it. to Atlantis. Not, but he, but he comes name. there and he helps people at that fishing town. So yeah, that's... but that's not really an origin story. Yeah, that's kind of his deal. Yeah. Mm. I would say it is. So I also like how they explained him talking to fish. The water, yeah, it's the water that talks. Yeah, they 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 did a lot of the. So does he talk to the water? No, he uses the vibrations in the water to talk to the. <laughs> fish. But they did a lot of the. Yeah. Aquaman always kind of been made fun of all for doing do, that. Yeah, but they kind and of made fun of that. Horse. But he's also a badass at the time. I did like it. He didn't wear it, ride a seahorse. <laughs> so okay, so the misses. What were some of the things that you thought missed? Uh, I oh, uh, we'll start. We'll start with yeah. Phil. I hate Lois Lane. I hate the actress that plays Lois Lane. You know, like Emma Watson. Uh, not Emma Watson. I'm sorry. Exactly. Uh, what's her name? Amy Adams. I don't dislike her as an actress. I hate her for that role. That, that role. She mm -hmm. doesn't have dark hair. She's just not Lois Lane. It's the worst part of the movie. Yeah, me. I will say really? she, Lois Lane's not redhead. No, yeah, she has black hair. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, hit for miss is uh, Flash for me. Why? Um, I thought Ezra Miller played a pussy. Well, you know what? I get, I, I, I get it, though. Flash is starting out. That's what they were pretty much putting that as. He's just starting out as yeah. superhero. But he just was kind of too you much of a You know what? Bitch. If I could 
wave a magic wand. I would just have the guy from the TV show. Just yeah, yeah. Jared Gustin would have been. They fun. just know he does it, so they ask him to come. I and also that like would how be he ran. Cool. He's like flopping his yeah. fucking arms around. Yeah. I'm like, what <laughs> I, the I, fuck I is he doing? Vulgarity, vulgarity. Why did you just? Why did you just? Now, Fla- Flash is Flash in the movie is the. He is the comic relief of the movie. Yeah, him and Aquaman. I think he's the comic relief just in general. Isn't he just for everything? Uh, no, a, that's Wally West. Hey, but he was always a wise ass. Yeah. yeah. Flash has always been a wise ass. Well, yeah. sp- Wally West, but not necessarily Barry, Barry Allen. But, I, yeah, they could have made him better, but he was better than I thought he would be. Yeah. What was your miss? Stephen Wolf was kind of ugly. Not Didn't look too fake. Yeah, he was yeah. fake. Was it CGI? It yeah, yeah, he original. was because the all, original guy was all, he's like really old. It was all CGI, and I didn't really like that that much. And also, the scene where Aquaman does the thing where he's like standing on top of one of the things and he crashes through the building. Mm-hmm. I feel like that would have been super cool if they left that out of the trailer. Oh every, yeah, that would have been like everyone whenever they see it, they'd be like, oh, yeah, my yeah. God. Where he rides the the alien down, then comes out yeah, the front yeah. door. Yeah, if they would have yeah. left that out of the trailers, people would have been flipping out over that scene. Yeah, yeah, they. Now here's here's the uh, one of the uh, my miss was the just just DC just get together just make the Flash guy from the TV just show up I mean who cares right and here's another thing too here's my other I really like the way Superman I never liked that guy as Superman but I like the way he's portrayed but let me tell you something about the Justice League the real Justice League mm-hmm. nobody's giving Batman crap. No yeah, one's no saying shit. to him, "You yeah. don't have powers." Right. Yeah, it don't work that way. No, I mean the whole the whole thing is he put them together. There's great uh, movies and comic books about how Batman can defeat everybody. Yeah, and that was a great scene when he went in and, and diverted all the flying monkey people, whatever they are, demons. And that was cool that he did that. But yeah, you're not. Yeah, you're powerful, Aquaman, but you're not giving crap to Batman. It yeah, just ain't right. gonna happen. No, I, I, I you, you know, honestly, I didn't really think about that. And you're right. There's no way anybody would have given Batman any kind of shit. That's right. Oh, yeah. you're hey, because honestly, they kind of made him weaker than everybody. And yeah, honestly, he's the strongest he's out of the entire Justice exactly. League. That's right. So that's right. Keep that in mind. I agree. Yeah. No, that's that. I mean, honestly, I didn't really think about that. That's like, a good I, point. I, I, I mean, they did give him a lot of shit, and they're like, "That's not nobody. Yeah, gives, you, no that, one gives Batman that shit." That wouldn't have happened. No, that wouldn't have happened. But anyway, it, other than that, it was it was okay. I I was um, cyborg. If you notice the the little thing when he said "booyah," yeah. So cyborg says "booyah" in the Teen Titans cartoon. He didn't say it right though. <laughs> but he said it yeah. to all the all the young people that watched the Teen Titans, and he was always part of the Teen Titans. Yeah. And I was like, how is he going to be part of the Justice League? But he, he was okay. He was all right. Uh, yeah. It worked out okay. When it comes to Cyborg, I was actually really happy with his CGI, because in the trailers it looked horrible. I also liked at the end where it shows it morphing mm-hmm. into like actually what Cyborg looks like. I thought that was cool. Because, yeah, because it changes. Yeah. The, the visuals of this was very, I think that you said... Drew, almost like you were watching an animated. I felt yeah. like I was watching an animated Justice League movie. That's really what. And not, I'm not talking in about a CGI good way or in a bad? good way. No, in, in a, a good, good way. way. No, in a good way. To okay. make those visuals, yeah. to have Batman when he when he came swooping down, his cape scalloped yeah. out, or he would swing in just like he does in the comics. Uh-huh. Very great visuals. Uh-huh. What did you think of the of the uh, Flash Superman race? I thought that was a really Hilarious. nice touch. I thought that was. Cool. I thought that was a great those, touch. One of those iconic things in, yeah. in yeah. comic books. It was that was neat. Remember, right. remember, remember the Superman Adventures TV show when they actually brought the Flash on to do a race, and then they have to stop Weathermaster, and that's when the started of the, the Su- Justice League TV show. The super. Oh remember, yeah. Remember yeah. the Super Superman Adventures? That yeah. I, I was like, yes, okay, but, that's cool. But there was always who's faster, who's fat. It was always that. I can't remember whoever went, who won. I well, never they always who wins. they always get diverted to help, yeah, and they tie or something. Yeah. But, well, okay, remember Supergirl and Flash do it on the TV show, right? That was kind of fun. yeah. They have to do and it. Flash beats her. <laughs> so, so what's? Yeah, but she's Supergirl. So what are you gonna do? How, how long the do you Flash, think people listen to this podcast? They're probably before they they get nerded out like, okay, these guys know yeah. way too much about comic books. Yeah, I'm I don't okay know. with that. Probably soon, uh, but we'll have another, <laughs> next next week if we're able to do one again. If I can get my internet going again, we'll we'll talk about it. Okay, things. so so what's next? Let's go around the horn, Jack. What do you think? What's gonna, the next movie going to be? 
Um, I don't know. Okay. Another thanks. Uh, I see Green Lantern joining. I see well, Martian Manhunter oh, no, joining. Wait, are you asking what movie comes out next? No, I'm asking what do you think is going to be next in the Justice League movie? Oh, I don't. I would. Ima- I would imagine Green Legion Lantern of Doom. Be there. Yeah, they'll have a Legion of Doom. Shazam. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, Deathstroke. A, we haven't talked about him. A. They'll have a Green Lantern. We don't know which one it will be yet. Anybody who's out there who actually is listening to this later on, mm-hmm. stay after the credits. Yeah, yeah, that was good. And who's the guy that plays Lex Luthor? That's Jesse, Jesse Eisenberg. Eisenberg. Hate him. Hate I hate him, him too. I hate him too. He's terrible. Spoiler alert: Lex Luthor is putting together a Legion of Doom. That's what you, you find out yeah. in this thing. But he I'm just sure. doesn't look the part. Now, was he bald in in Superman? Yeah, he, gets, he, Superman? he gets his head shaved he before he goes to jail. Shaved. Okay, and then he just keeps the look. And so in the last part, they he tricked someone to, to be in his cell, and then he had escaped. Mm-hmm. Now, I was I, my attention wandered or whatever, but I saw him go into the building, and he says, "We'll have a table with six. Yes. Yeah. Now, yes. I didn't see the outside shot of that. Did that was say, the Wayne Manor. Yeah, it was it Wayne Manor? Manor? Yeah, because in BVS he's abandoned it. Because too many villains apparently so have making, found out about oh, it. Oh, he's making Wayne Manor into the Hall of Justice. Yeah, huh? How, how, I didn't. I thought that was the old beat up Wayne Manor. How, why do you think that? Because he explains it in BVS. He says, you know, knew, too many people knew where this was. You so can he say, moved. You can say Batman versus Superman. <laughs> like, you're gonna have to sell shit. BVS for is me. quicker though. Um, yeah, well, yeah, it is. So is NASA. Yeah, but <laughs> hey, uh, but so. I I assume that too, but then why would he have the Justice League Hall at Wayne Manor? I could have. I, I thought know, the that's Hall of Justice Probably because he the, has all the money. Justice League Hall was like in the city. It was. Yeah. It was in the middle of this, and I don't remember what city so it was part. Hall of. of Justice. So the Super Friends had the Hall of Justice. The then the comic books they had the satellite. Yeah, and then at one point they were in a cave somewhere. called the Watchtower, the satellite. Yeah, but yeah. W- w- they were in a cave. You remember that when they first started? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, the, Happy Harbor. Yeah, it was like, uh, yeah, and then the Teen Titans take it over. Snapper yeah. Car yeah. helped them. Yeah, remember Snapper Car. So, but in the in the great animated show, Young Justice, they have all of them. They yeah. they have all of they use all of them, which is cool. Yeah. So I didn't notice that that was Wayne Manor. Okay, that'd be interesting to see. So I also liked how Wonder Woman adds like, oh, we're gonna add more. And I was like, yes, nice. yeah. all right, all right, all right. So wait, so you didn't really explain it, so. They walk into, at the end of the thing, they walk into this big room, and Batman says, or Bruce Wayne says to Alfred, I want a table, big table right in the middle. A round table for six people. This was six chairs. And then Wonder Woman comes up behind him like, and maybe room and for more, more. And room for more. So they're putting together the a Hall giant of Justice. Team. Yeah, so now they're going to be doing more movies. And honestly, I feel like this was, next to Wonder Woman, the strongest DC movie they've done. I'm with you. I'm with you there. I had low expectations for this. I did too. And it, Exceeded mine. Yeah, it did. I was actually surprised I didn't walk out wanting to kill somebody. Oh, I wanted to bitch about something too. Let's hear. I it. saw today on the uh, interweb social media that uh, Rotten Tomatoes gives it a forty three percent. Thirty eight. I saw forty three percent. Never mind. Never mind. Keep talking. No, that's what I saw. I saw. I I know the difference between a four and a three and a three. <laughs> and <eight. laughs> but the but the larger point is this. Who are these fucking people? Who are these Rotten Tomato people? Who looks Who looks at this type of movie and says, "Well, I'm not going to go now." Rotten Tomato don't like it. Nobody. Yeah, they're all. That. Everyone's going to go see it. And then I, uh, also, I know two people. Who? Who? They, I want names. I want names, and I want names right now. My friend Cody is one. He, he looks that's, at he looks at Rotten Tomatoes and goes, "Oh, bad rating. Not gonna go see it." Yep, that's kind of how he rolls. Or he'll that's buy sick, it on uh, or he'll rent it. That asshole had a free ticket. And yeah, he didn't show yeah. up. I say anyone, any DC fan w- is going to enjoy this. Show. Yes, they're going to have fun with it. If you're a DC fan, yeah. <clears throat> but but you don't look for, for Man, Rotten even, Tomatoes. Even people that aren't a DC fan, I'm right, sorry. Right. Even DP, I apologize. But you're you're not going to go to Rotten Tomatoes and go, I love superhero movies. Oh, I'm not going to go see it now. Right. And then who's the who's the uh, critic? He's like, well, I don't really like this. I mean, you have to open up. This is a, a superhero movie. It's not. You know, it's not supposed to be a drama. And, you know, right. and you know, yeah. it may it may be drawn to like this the DC fans, but like a lot of those critics take stuff from a cinematography standpoint, and just like oh, this 
it's too short. Yeah, this is this. There's not enough character interactions. Blah blah blah. What blah, did blah, they blah. have problem like, with? Did you know? PC you was they, a problem. It was a supposed to be a three hour movie, but Warner Brothers, with their being budget stuff, they cut mm-hmm. it down to two hours. And that made Rotten Thank Tomatoes God. go low. I well, it made pacing off. It pacing. It be did. One the, of the pacing big problems. was quick. Mm-hmm. I did. Yeah. I did. Th- think Wonder the Woman was walks quick. into the Batcave and goes, "Hey, this is happening. Everyone's dying." Okay. Yeah. I liked that pacing, though. I liked it, it was yeah. faster. I mean, uh, that that was another thing. The pacing itself felt like an animated movie. That's yeah, another. I that's it. why I, I also am okay with it's it. It's like, but I do, do agree there to... was some parts that were just kind of like. But why do we have to watch them brute all the? That's that you know slower pacing superhero movies are brooding the whole time. Oh, oh, okay. Just move on. Do some action. Get going on it. I did feel like uh, I, I liked it. That wasn't too dark. It was hopeful. It had like all the Justice League. Components like the Avengers kind of captured. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know. The, the, bat, the Batman scenes were dark. That that's fine though. That's I'm Batman. okay with that. Yeah, <laughs> the first scene was awesome scene. Yeah, that was a great scene. I that love it. He's cool. just sitting there waiting for this mm-hmm. dude to come out. Hey, yeah. <laughs> that was hey. cool. Yeah, he used the guy anyway. It was yeah. it was awesome. What do you but, want from me? Fear. The thing is, he's supposed to. He should have arrested him. Okay, I'm sorry. Batman would not have just let that guy just stay there. How do you know what he did? He yeah, would have called think, Commissioner Gordon, like, "Hey, come pick up this dickhead that I've just maybe wrapped he did around later. the water tower." <laughs> maybe he did. Yeah, maybe he yeah. did. You're right. What do you think of J.K. Speak. Simmons as Commissioner Gordon? Great. From what the scenes I saw I, him at, I, he was very short. It, it was a waste of a good good actor. They probably paid him too much, and they could have just had honestly. Else I didn't really it. see the merit in having right. Commissioner Gordon mm-hmm. anyway. Right. But I guess they were setting it up for the Batman movies. Yeah, who knows? That's a good. That's a good point. And some good good things that people relate to yeah. from Batman. Oh, Commissioner Gordon. Yeah. Well, that's really about it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, really can't get any more I mean, about that. We had a, we had a late podcast. We had news from the Druze. Jack's ready to go home. <laughs> I took the headphones Jack, off. I'm ready to go home. Jack, any last words? Um, seven and a half out of ten. Eight. I'd say a strong eight. I say eight, eight as well. So that's our special podcast week review of the Justice League. Thanks for joining us, Phil. You bet. I'm Thanks sure for having me. a great time for you. This was fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you back every week, every single time, right? Oh, I I do that. Uh, <laughs> where it's leap year week, so I'll be oh, back next oh, year. Oh, 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 o